Right off the bat, a shot across the bow from this former Marine, and our wipeout qualifiers underway. First element of the course is the buoy run. Everyone has to run, well, try to run for each of those red pads across. Wipe out, and you can get back up on the blue platform there. Barring that, this George Foreman look like will take a swim to our next obstacle. You know, oddly enough, I heard he has five sons named Irwin as well. Up now to the second element of the course, the sucker punch wall. Ah! Oh! oh, the sucker punch <laughs> wall playing dirty and Irwin getting a little dirty himself. Body blow, body blow. That's right, a body blow and a low one. Ah! Oh, this former Marine taking a dive into our sucker punch pit. That's all you got. No, Irwin, we got four big balls. We want you on those balls. We need you. Oh, oh boy. Take another look at this lack of success. You can't handle the big balls, Irwin. As his run continues, Irwin now has to swim to the next obstacle. Climb up that ladder on his way to what we call the field goal swing. Find a call now, Sorry, Irwin. They don't take our calls anymore. Irwin there at the field goal swing. Jill, any chance this goes well? A few times it's just right, he's home. The object here, Jill, Irwin has to swing himself through the field goal there, catapult himself, and attempt to stick the landing on the red ball. If he misses, he has to swim over to that red platform. <laughs> wow, inverted. A huge plunge for Irwin. For several replays. Now Irwin still must swim, since he didn't land on that ball, to the red platform to finish his qualifier. This is one tough Marine. Really? Because it sounds like my grandmother just saw a mouse. And with a time of 3 minutes 17 seconds, we will see if it holds up and if he'll advance to our top 12. Back up at the top of our wipeout qualifier is 34-year-old Aaron Merriman who is one of her talents, does cartoon character voices. Can you do a little cartoon voice for me today? Oh, I am so winning the wipeout today, $50,000! You heard it here. <laughs> Back to you guys. Well, that's got to be intimidating for the other contestants, John. Well, let's see how the wipeout qualifier treats our cartoon character, Aaron Merriman. <laughs> Our cartoon character onto the sucker punch now and still wearing her hat. Which is a good strategy, John. The sucker punch wall wouldn't dare hit a poor, defenseless. <laughs> That's my bad. Could have been worse, though, John. Could have dropped a safe on her. Erin apparently now deciding to make her own sound effects for her run. Erin now at the big balls with a slight hesitation. And she's off. And she's off. No laughing there, Jill. Oh, no. Where's the kitty cat hat? Well, Jill, it looks like Aaron has nine lives, but unfortunately, that kitty cat hat had only one. Up to the field goal swing. Let's see how she does here. What's your call on this one, Jill? You know what? I think she's going to be like a graceful cat making her way to her ball. <laughs> Little kitty cat pitter pats down the ramp. Well, you know cats hate water. She is so tired, she's gonna hitch a ride, John. I'm okay. But she's okay. This is Aaron Merriman saying, That's all, folks. <laughs> Many people starting the wipeout qualifier today. And just like Aaron Merriman, having trouble with the field goal swing at the end of the course. And now to attempt the field goal swing, 35-year-old software developer Matthew Thies. Oh, oh a <laughs> painful-looking finish. I'm good. Don't worry. Matthew says he's good. Let's find out if our yeah. next competitor is in the same state of mind. Back down to Jill. Hi, guys. All right, thanks. I'm down here with Jessica. Jessica, what made you want to come on Wipeout? Um, with that money, I would love to buy a pot belly pig for one and another cat. Wow, so you're, so you're kind of like an animal lover. Oh, I am an animal lover. I want to be an animal cop. <laughs> you know, John, I was arrested by an animal cop once. I spent six months in a petting zoo. I don't like to talk about it. We pick up Jessica at the sucker punch. Let's see how she fares in this fight. Oh, she's got such a cute little face. I don't want her to get punched. <gasps> Oh, maybe I jinxed her. She almost jinxed her head off. But amazingly, she still has a smile on her face. 
Jessica, look at that. She should be smiling. Our first competitor to cross the sucker punch all day. Our animal lover bouncing off the big balls like a gazelle. But Jessica still grinning ear to ear. This 25-year-old up to the field goal swing now. Remember, if she lands on the ball, the clock stops and she is done. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Not impossible. He's on. 152 yes. and change. A fantastic time for Jessica Bertoni. But for every beauty on the course, uh, there's a beast. Yeah. Back down to Jill. Okay, thanks, guys. I'm down here with John Dykus. Now, John, you have a very interesting nickname. What is that? Roadkill. Why do they call you that? Oh, I used to do all kinds of driving, both on my Harley and in trucks and everything, and I came across all kinds of animals on the road. Well, I'm confused. Does that mean he hits animals with his truck or gets out and strangles them with his bare hand? Either way, it's good eating. 49-year-old Dykus on the sucker. Oh, off the sucker punch. And looking strangely like Roadkill himself here. Up to the big ball. Let's see how our old cactus farmer fares here. Oh. You know, this course has been making Roadkill out of almost everybody today. Oh. Oh, my God. I'd highly advise against drinking that water. Up next is preschool teacher Charles Zauja, whose kids call him Mr. Charles. And my goodness, mm. look at that hustle. All the way across the buoy run, best we have seen today, flying through our course. Maybe borrowing chewable vitamins from the kids. The purple ones are the best. Charles is already at the big balls, and Charles is off the big balls. Off the big balls, but Charles is in charge of this qualifier. Already on our field goal swing. Let's see how he fares here. Oh, Charles missing the top of the ball and side of it there not good enough. He'll have to swim over to the red platform. Pretty sure Mr. Charles, our preschool teacher, has gained a spot in our top 12. Up next at the top of the qualifier, we have someone who has a unique way of describing herself. Ah, pretty hot as they do it. That's Sandy Bowles, and Jill got her story earlier. So I understand you've got something called fat status. What what does that mean? Oh, it's pretty hot and thick. We we got some junk in our trunk, and we can work it and do it. Woohoo! More power to you, Sandy. As she said, John, doing it for all the fat people with a pH, and that's a big number. And she's on the first non-obstacle. Sandy's not quite at the buoy run yet, but just hang on, guys. She'll, uh, she's gonna get there. Well, Sandy's arrived at the buoy run. Shouldn't be too hard. Remember, just stepping from one to the uh, other. So, having a little trouble balancing her trunk. It appears Sandy's just a bit off course here, which means on to the sucker punch, although Sandy has chewed up a decent amount of time in getting here. Remember, she says she has fat status. That's pretty hot and thick status. Looks like now she's leaning towards pretty hot and tired steps. Here's Sandy. It looks like she's ready to take on the big balls. First step's a doozy. Oh, and the face of the big balls looks like she is pretty hot and terrified. Wow. Now onto the field goal swing. Let's see here. You know, on second thought, I can't watch. I will. Look at Sandy's technique there. Sandy trying to go down knees first. Afraid that didn't work. Yeah. The finish around the 10 minute mark. I didn't quit. Yeah, she won't be moving on, but good for her, John. She looks pretty. Hot and triumph. That's Robert Duff, a self professed geek. Let's go. Which you would never know from the super awesome karate moves. Robert says he'd use the 50 grand for grad school. Well, our geek who wants to go to grad school now preparing for an education in Sucker Punch. Or, as he calls it, high school. Robert, one of our smaller contestants, just 5'7", working across the mud pit. Oh, he nearly made it. All right, John, barring a massive wedgie or a wet wheelie, Robert's going to try the big ball. Oh! oh. Robert's clearly more of a mathlete than an athlete, John. 
still making good time as he moves over to the field goal swing. The field goal swing reminding Robert of all the high school sports that he didn't play. 